Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about why Robo Framework supports both none and null. So to understand this, let's look at this a small program which we have created to demonstrate this concept. Uh, this test case compares none and null and accordingly it prints if uh, none and null are equal or same if these are equal otherwise it will print these variables are not same okay so let's run this program using this uh, run option over here friends if you don't see this run option or debug option in your vs code there are some steps you need to follow to enable these options and these steps are mentioned in the in one of the video on this channel and link to that video is mentioned in the description of this video okay so let's run this program uh, using this run option you can see the program is passed and the log files are created here uh, so let's try to find this log file here it is and it says none and null are same okay so uh, if you're a, if you are from java background and you create an object uh, without any value without assigning any value by default that value that reference variable will get value as null similarly in python if you create an object without initialization you will uh, by default its value would be none okay and to satisfy both python programmer and java programmer robo framework supports both of them so basically these are just two different names for the same value all right friends if this video uh, helps you please subscribe to this channel because that will help us grow and put your thoughts in the comment section because we like to read from you thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye